Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to study a few of the properties of the four operations. Not all of them, but especially two. And those two are the commutative property and the associative property. Now, you have actually learned these starting in first grade. For example, that addition is commutative, that you can add two numbers in whichever order, order you want to. 4 plus 5 is the same as 5 plus 4. You've known that for years, right? Or that addition is associative. If you have three numbers to add, you can add the first two numbers first, and then add the third number to that. Or you could add the last two numbers first, and then add that with the first number. These two properties are true also for multiplication. Multiplication is commutative. 5 times 4 is the same as 4 times 5, for example. And multiplication is also associative. If you have three numbers to multiply, you can multiply the first two first, and then go on to multiply by the third number. Or you could multiply the last two first, and then go on by multiplying by the first number here. Now you might ask that why does it not say anything about multiplying A and, A and C first, and then by B? That is true also, you could multiply in that order too, no problem. You can multiply these three numbers in any order. If you have four or five or six numbers, you can multiply them in any order you, you wish. But it is not saying that because that can be then proven. You can prove using this and this property that indeed it is possible to multiply A and C first and then by B. We won't go into the details now though. What about subtraction and division? Are there anything like that for them? Let's check and see. For example, if there was a commutative property for subtraction, it would say that a minus b equals b minus a, right? But that is clearly not the case. If you take any two numbers, like 10 and 5, 5 and 10, it will not work. Here you would get 5, here you would get negative 5. So, these two are usually not equal, okay? How about the associative property of subtraction? We can check it out, or we can actually prove that it is not true by choosing any numbers and showing that it is not true. Like 10 minus 5 minus 3, okay? Or 10 minus 5 minus 3, over here, 10 minus 5 first means 5 minus 3. This equals 2. And over here, 5 minus 3 first is 2, and 10 minus 2 equals 8. So, no, there is no such thing for subtraction. How about division? Is division commutative? Clearly no. Again, for example, 8 divided by 4 is not the same as 4 divided by 8. And again, it fails to be associative as well. I'm going to show it to you by choosing certain numbers here. 20 and 10 and 2. Divide those first, or... Divide first 10 divided by 2. Here we get 2 divided by 2 equals 1. Here we get 5 from here, and 10, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. So no, they're not equal. Are the expressions equal no matter what value the variable has? This is 4 times x, x times 4. Now that is a simple expression, it is just the same as here. Okay, just switching the order of those two numbers, two factors. And so yes, those are equal by the commutative property of multiplication. How about these ones? Now here's division, okay? And division is not commutative, so these are usually not equal. They would be equal if x happens to be 2, okay? But not normally. Now here is subtraction, and just like I showed you, a subtraction does not have a property called commutative property of subtraction, no. Or you can check it. Give a any value, like 10, 10 minus 5, 5 minus 10, not equal. And here is addition, okay? In addition, you can add either way, in any order, so yes, these are equal. It is showing us the commutative property of addition. Now here, s plus 2 plus 3, and here's s plus 3 first, and then plus 2. 
These are not exactly the same as here, okay? If you compare carefully, these are not the same as here because you would have 2 and 3 in the same order, okay? S plus 2 plus 3, then it would be exactly like the associative property of addition. Nevertheless, these two are equal because you can add in any order. You can mix these up and have 2 plus S plus 3 or 2 plus 3 plus S or whatever. All of those are equal. And uh, it is not showing simply the associative property here. It is basically mixing the commutative and associative properties. And using them both, we can prove that these two are equal. But you know that from elementary school, like I said, that you can add three numbers in any kind of mixed up order. How about s minus 2 minus 3 and s plus 2 minus 3? They don't look the same and they are not equal always. Okay, you can prove it again by choosing some number for s, like s is 10, and checking they are not the same. Here we will simplify using these properties. This means 2 times x times 3. I can multiply in any order, so I can multiply the 3 and 2 here and get 6. And that is a simpler looking form. If I write it as 6x, it looks simpler, right? Over here, 4 times x times 8 times x. Now 4 times 8, I can multiply them first, and that's 32. Then I can also multiply x times x, and write it with a shorthand notation, x squared. Okay? That is simpler looking. That is how it's usually written. Then over here, 2 times a times 5. 5 is in parentheses to indicate it's multiplied. And then b times 3 times 3. I can do the same here. I can multiply 2 and 5, okay? And over here I can multiply 3 and 3. But I cannot do anything as far as the addition goes, and I cannot multiply 5 and 3 or anything like that. But within this expression here, there's just multiplications. So that simplifies to 10a. And then here in this other expression, I can multiply 3 and 3, and I get 9 times b. 7 plus x plus 8. Now I can use the commutative and associative properties of addition and add 7 and 8 first and get 15. So it is 15 plus x or x plus 15. Either way. Here's c plus c plus c plus c. Now, I'm not going to use any of these properties now. I'm just going to use the definition of multiplication. Multiplication is repeated addition. Here I have a repeated addition. I add c multiple times, so I can write it as a multiplication. And that is shorter, right, and simpler for c. Over here, again, there are several things I can do, because I can add these numbers here, 2 and 5 and 3, like a 10. But then also there is the repeated addition, a plus a plus a. So that I can write as a multiplication, which is a simpler simpler looking expression, so I get AAA is 3A, and then add all those 2 and 5 and 3, you get 10. So that expression looks simpler, and so we have simplified the original. Okay, I hope this was helpful.